Yo, it's really good YouTube. Dallas here with a video. I'm about to go for a run. I'm screaming because I don't want to go, but I gotta go. I wanted to alter my training to to fit like long distance runs and short distance runs, but I don't know. I think I'm just gonna do like four miles today. See how my body feels. Um, it's gonna be good though. The temperature is always so confusing because in the beginning of the day it was cold, then midday it was pretty decent. Now it's like overcast. I got this like thick thermal type. It'll keep you warm, but it'll still like whip the moisture away. I don't know. I'm confused, but we gonna get it in. I literally always wanted to do that but like when you look from it from here it doesn't look like that it doesn't look that bad but it's pretty high like look I can't even that has to be at least maybe 12 feet so yeah I'm glad I did it oh my god windows down windows down windows down listen it got hot it got hot out there and I had no idea I was feeling good about wearing this, but then, whoa, it got hot. But I did 3.3 miles, took me right underneath a half hour to do it, 29 minutes, 58 seconds. Um, Feeling pretty good about the run, kind of gassed. Going a little bit faster than I really wanted to. Um, I kind of wanted like a 9.30ish mile uh, pace. I was doing like more of like an 8.40. Those seconds really do make a difference, they really do because I haven't ran literally probably like in like, in like a week that's not enough time if you if you take more than like a few days off you're back to like square one so uh I I don't know if I'm tackling this um this obstacle course training um routine correctly but I feel really good when I do the stairs. You guys see me doing the stairs, killing the stairs, killing the circuit training, killing the lifting. But then whenever I go run, like for some reason, my body's like, hold up, what is this? So I think what I have to do is I have to incorporate running more in my programming. I'm gonna do a long run and a short run. I kind of wanted to do a long run today, but obviously I couldn't or didn't. So um, I just altered it differently. So yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens for the next time I run. I'm excited. Please like and subscribe, man. I appreciate you guys watching this video, man. I'm just documenting my journey. I'm not gonna do everything perfect, but we're gonna be perfect with our imperfections. You heard I me? Mean? You heard I me? Mean? What's funny is because like right before I started to run, there's a guy that was sitting on the bench and like, you know, I was setting myself up, starting to like loosen up. And then the guy, he sees me stretching. He's like, oh, make sure you stretch. I'm like, okay. Like, you know, he, he's an older guy, so I'm going to respect my elders, you know. I'm not going to be like, sir, I got this, all right? I got this. But, you know, I did do a quick stretch. And um, as I was running, as, as I got to, like, probably mile 1.3, I started to feel, like, my hamstring tighten up. I'm like, oh, no. So I didn't stretch as good as I could have. And it was just funny that the guy told me to stretch and I was like, okay, okay. But like, I really should have stretched. I'll listen to you next time, old guy. All right, old guy, old lives matter. But we're gonna get better. We're gonna get faster, we're gonna get stronger. Oh, we gonna get it in. Yes, we gonna get it in.